Hello and welcome to this edition of Computer Doctor. I'm Michael Frushauer and today I'm going to show you how to install an SATA internal hard drive into your computer. Alright, now this one is a little easier than installing an IDE hard drive, which is the old model kind of hard drive. Uh, let's get started by facing your computer down um, sideways, allowing that the slide panel is facing upward. Let's uh, disconnect the thumb screws on the side of the computer. This is my um, uh, Gateway Windows uh, Vista computer. Let's just pop off the panel, set that aside. All right, here's the inside of our computer. Now, I recommend you to always, always touch um, the power supply or a piece of metal before you ever begin touching any of the components inside the computer. Um, it'll prevent any static um, connections to the uh, to the um, components of the computer to prevent them from damage. So, uh, here is our hard drive bay for our ATA. Um, hard drive. Now I do not have a uh, second secondary ATA hard drive to uh, show you but we're just going to use um, my uh, my uh, master ATA hard drive that came with my computer and explain to you how to install it as if it were to be a secondary hard drive. So uh, let's begin by first uh, disconnecting our um, hard drive bay from our computer allowing us to get easy access to the inside of our um, hard drive bay. In my case, uh, because I have a newer model computer, they made it more easier um, to take out the hard drive bay and I only have one thumb style screw. Um, you might have um, more screws, um, so just dis disconnect the screws to allow this hard drive bay to um, pop up and move out as I'm going to do right now I'm going to disconnect my one screw and I, all I have to do is slide it up and it's out and now my hard drive bay is disconnected from the rest of my computer all right after you have done that you're going to want to take your second hard drive now this is an IDE hard drive I do not have like I said a ATA hard drive a secondary ATA hard drive to show as an installation guide but we're gonna uh, pretend as for right now that this is a ATA and SATA hard drive and we're going to uh, connect this to our hard drive bay as if this were to be a secondary SATA hard drive so very simply you'll just slide this in to one of the secondary slots as I'm doing right now so that the um, data and power connections are facing upward all right next you're going to want to secure it by um, screwing in screws so uh, let's do that now and we're going to um, make sure that it's nice and secure inside this hard drive bay okay once when you have done that we can now uh, plop this back into our computer. Okay. And you're going to have to get a um, secondary uh, SATA data cable. Now that is this red cable I have here. Um, let me just disconnect this from my computer. This is an SATA data cable. Unlike the IDE master and slave cable that older model computers use to transfer data from the hard drive to the computer's BIOS motherboard. Um, new models now use this SATA data cable. It does the same thing that um, an IDE cable 
uh, does, but it's more faster and it's uh, only connection support for an ATA hard drive. So the end that looks like this is going to be the end that connects to the motherboard into one of the slots. Okay, make sure it snaps in. Okay, once when you have done that, now let's take the um, other end and make sure that it goes right here to the connection uh, notch for the SATA data cable. It should also click once when it connects. All right, and so now that we have our power cable connected to our master, we're gonna now connect the secondary power slave um, cable to our secondary hard drive. Now, like I said previously, I do not have a um, secondary SATA hard drive, so it does not have the output connections for the data or power um, supply connections, but simply just like your master one, you will connect it in the same port as your master and um, your data cable, your secondary data cable should connect to the data slot on your secondary hard drive. Once when you have done that, you shall now connect all the screws to the hard drive bay so that's nice and secure as I'm connecting my one thumb screw to my hard drive bay. Okay, now that's nice and secure and uh, double check to make sure that all connections are secure to the motherboard and um, the power supplies are connected nice and tight to the hard drives. You may now uh, put your um, computer panel back, uh, cover panel back on. Let's grab that right now. Just pop it on, make sure it slides on nice and tight. And you may now screw back in your thumb screws. Once you, when you have done that, you may now connect all your cables back onto the back panel of your computer, plug it in, turn it on, give it a second for your computer to recognize that there is a secondary hard drive found, and you have now successfully installed a secondary SATA internal hard drive into your computer. <laughs>